Hi guys, shaved my head again. Yesterday, or the last video, I showed you the stuff didn't work. Next gen, didn't do anything. I just put it on my, well anyway, you saw it. If you didn't see it, go back a couple of videos. I'm not gonna explain what I've done in the past when you have full records of it in archives. Anyway, this is uh, Ghost Bond Normal, Ghost Bond XL, and Ghost Bond Supreme. I don't know what the differences are. The reason they're not brand new and unopened is because I have used them before and they didn't work. I could try to resist sweat from my brow by putting this stuff on or something, but I mean, they can't use that as an excuse. Oh yeah, we didn't know skin would sweat. Well, they're making glue for skin, so that's the whole point, isn't it? They incorporate that stuff into it if that's what they needed to overcome. <sighs> well, I don't want to waste my time, so I'll just go with XL, which says, with extra moisture control. I have no idea what that means. I'm doing the lid now. And there's a squeezy tube bit on the top, which is... Oh, it's coming straight out, okay. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. Is the finger the correct applicator? I will be using poly. I'm gonna get some more of these things. Cotton tips. See at this point, now that there's already a layer of glue down, I'm worried that my finger is going to rub it off. So with the second application, it feels like I'm actually working to destroy it from the outset. So within less than one minute, it's already dry for the second layer. The instructions actually say, can you read that? That's my eyeball mixed to the writing. Can you imagine my eyeball being able to perceive that? Directions. Specially formulated for Oily scalps, high humidity, and heavy perspiration. Well, there you go, they've got no excuses now. The final countdown, lady. But there's no, nothing on here that says directions. I can't focus in on something that's wrong. I'll do a, a second layer or third layer, whatever I'm up to. It's very easy to lose control with your finger as a tool.
Is that correct so far? You ghost bond, ghost bond fans, is it correct? Oh, this is a bit worn out. The hairs have started to disappear up here. There will be gaps. I'm running late for something. Gotta hurry up. So that's enough layers as far as I can see. Do I put the alcohol spray on now? It's already seeming to behave crumbly. Not like what I'm used to. Is this alcohol spray good enough for you? The ingredients are... It doesn't say the ingredients on this bottle. I assume it's just 99% isopropyl alcohol or something like that. Okay. Yeah, your finger's not a great applicator, is it? They were right here. Did you see where I put them? I put the cotton buds right here. I've been feeling very lethargic and back pain. For a number of months now. Today feels particularly painful. It seems like I, I, I already applied glue up here. That's what I'm talking about. It feels like, you know, it's basically useless when you put it, the glue on. Maybe I've got to wait a while. And the problem is picking up the, uh, <clears throat> the cotton tip with my finger now that it's covered in glue. Is problematic as well. Every, look at that. See, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's just peeling off like there's nothing there. Do you guys not understand what I'm saying? If you've ever used Ghost Bomb before, it's really not dry. It's nothing happening.
Now, not only would the slightest breeze knock this off my head, leaning forward would make it fall off my head. Do you understand what I'm saying? If this ghost bond actually does anything at all, it's not apparent. It's like I'm putting milk on my hairpiece. If you've just tuned in today, we're trying Ghost Bond XL. Ghost Bond XL, the mo extra moisture control adhesive. And so far, it's done nothing. Very windy again. Yeah. And just in case one of you motherfuckers decides to tell me, did you check the use by date? It doesn't have one, it's glue. Okay. So far I'd estimate that milk would have better adhesive power than this glue. This looks like milk, right? Look, the whole thing just wants to fall straight off. Like, there's a piece of, there's a napkin on my head. That's it. I'm sorry, but I can't just keep waiting. This is not gonna... Oh no, I'm gonna have to go to the, all this trouble of pulling it back up. So nothing's there. Let's just hope that it hardens in some way to make the stop hold stronger. There's white showing all over the place. These are the V-lips. Because I've got a little bit of glue on my fingers, every time I touch my hairpiece, it rips them out. You don't want glue on your fingers. 
That's why these white glues, I don't know how you're applying them. I, I would have thought with your fingers, right? I can still spray alcohol on this. That's still safe to do that, right? Without ruining the glue. Where's my comb? Where the fuck is my comb? My back is killing me, by the way. If your uh, razor doesn't withstand being dropped on the solid ground, then it hasn't been made for a bathroom, which has got a floor made of tiles, I'd say 100% of the time. <sighs> Fuck. This is a bad start to my day. I wish I'd just used Walker Ultra Hold and I'd be out of here. Even doing that, there's no resistance. Nothing. I really do hope this works because I need a non-shiny glue that I might want to go back to lace and I don't want the glue to shine. Oh man, just doing that just flipped it straight off. It has no adhesive strength whatsoever. that this side you've, you've seen I've been leaving this to dry right even if it does work the the uh, the work you have to do to put it on it seems too cumbersome and annoying that you wouldn't want to ever use it and, and having to have the glue on my fingers has ripped most of the hairs out of this hairpiece. Oh, by the way, it's a really windy day. It's a really windy day. I wouldn't even dare put product in my hair right now. It'll just come off. Ghost Bond XL. If this surprises me, if this hair piece is still on in one hour while I walk down this windy fucking street, there's a fucking gale blowing, right? If this is still on my head and I'm not already in the court suing these people for embarrassing me in public, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll be tied up in a lawsuit for the next six months because my whole fucking forehead has been exposed because of shit. It feels like there's nothing working whatsoever.